Hello. So it's Sunday night, and we're gonna talk about a little uh, perfumes. I know I came on an hour later, but you know, stuff happens. Anyway, tonight we're going to talk about 20 beautiful romantic flirty fragrances. Um, if there is a difference to me, so let's just say there is a difference between romantic fragrances and sexy fragrances. Sexy fragrances tend to be very spicy, very vanilla heavy, very sweet, very um, in your face. Whereas romantic is, um, you know, softer, more florals. So like when I think romantic, when I think sexy fragrances, they're heavier, they're, you know, very um, strong, very um, in your face fragrances. Whereas the romantic flirty fragrances tend to be, um, tend to be like this time of year, you know, tend to be my florals, tend to be, you know, things like that. Now, some of them I will wear all the time, but you know, they tend to like really work well in this type of weather because there's a lot of florals in it. And you know, it just feels like you're pretty, you know, these are like those soft, pretty fragrances. So today is about romantic flirty perfumes. So let's get started. Hey, Michelle. Hey, hey. So we're going to start. I got 20, maybe 21, 22, somewhere around there. But anyway, we're going to start out and I'm going to start with Bella Blanca by Oscar. You are the first one um, by Oscar De Laurence. And I'm going straight into content. You know, I ain't playing with folks. Um, this one is a white floral. Um, to me, it honestly does is a little soapy. So even though I love it now, I'll be honest with you, I think I really like the bottle. I think the bottle is gorgeous, um, but it does like evoke that kind of pretty romantic kind of vibe. This is definitely something, hi Lala, this is definitely something that you could wear to, you know, like garden parties, to brunch, you know, just very summery, um, like picnics picnic dates this would be perfect for now and on me it comes off very soapy but it is two rows it's gardenia it's got a little pear in it so it's a really pretty beautiful just just nice nice pretty fragrance um so that's bella blanca hi hi and so next up we're gonna go to bella rosa right here so i have both i have i don't have the bella essence yet hi indescence yeah look at y'all coming here so this is bella rosa and this is um it has it's a little spicy it's out of pink pepper it's got the rose in it pink rose jasmine now here's the thing with this one with these and i will say this they are not the longest lasting hey coco so these aren't necessarily super long lasting. I have the whole set with this. So I have the lotion and I think I have the shower gel because it doesn't last super long on my, my skin, but it is a really light, beautiful floral, inexpensive. So if you like, um, you know, inexpensive, but uh, you know, it's, it's there. It's, you know, it's, it's doing okay. Uh, so it's a really nice, beautiful, floral, pink. It's got a little spiciness to it. And the little spiciness gives it a little edge. Because, you know, when you look at this, you think, oh, just a little something, something. But it actually has a little edge to it. So this is Bella Rosa. Very pretty, very romantical, very romantical, you know what I'm saying? I did this really cool. You should see what I did. Um, okay. Next up is... Where's she at? Oh, here it is. Um, how much is inexpensive? You can get this. You can get Bella Rosa around fifty dollars or under. You can find Bella Rosa um, a lot of times at the at Marshalls and everything. I paid fifty dollars for the whole set. It was at Burlington. I got the that size lotion and. What you trying to talk about me? What you trying to say about me, Lila? That my my my, my I got some inexpensive, some inexpensive ones too. Okay, so now this is by Mikalev. This is a um, 
This is a niche brand out of Paris. Um, and this is called Royal Rose Oud. First off, when you look at the bottle, it already says girly. This is, you know, it's got the pink little crystals and everything. It says expensive. It says, I'm a girl, I'm a beautiful girl. Now this one is an oud. However, the reason why I put this under romantic is because most ouds are very, um, you know, dark, heavy. Most of the times when you see a rose oud, it's a really dark, rich fragrance, can be skanky. Now this has a little bit of skank in it, just a little bit, but oh. But what it is, is it's this airy, sparkling, fresh root rose oud and the thing with this one is it has white chocolate in it hi v it has a little ambergris it has a very small amount of vanilla so it's not super sweet it's just just sweet enough and it is very it's not like most ouds which are very dark very heavy you know make you feel like you're like oh yeah this one is a very light oud this is a pretty girly oud this is one of the most girly ouds I own. Like, like oud usually tends to be kind of unisex, can sometimes go a little masculine on you, but this is the most girly oud I own. It's just, it's just really pretty. I put it on today just so I can smell fresh and beautiful, you know? So that is Michaelis Royal Rose Oud. Um, and it's not that expensive. You can find it on, um, you can find it um, usually you can find it on fragrance net under a hundred dollars um so this is you know when it comes in stock it's really nice i am going to put it on my decant list i decided because now that i've seen that you can actually get it because i thought it was out of stock for a long time this might go on to the it might go on to the uh decant list yes and the bottle itself is so pretty to have on your on your vanity child please right it's simple but cute simple but cute all right next up is this one and this is dahlia devin this is the nude one now i have three i have i don't i'm only missing one oh and the oh initial but this is nude and the reason why i chose this one over the other two is because this is the lighter of the the dahlia devins this is a floral fruity it has does it have gardenia in it it has jasmine, it has orange blossom, it has a little apricot. Osmanthus, y'all know I love me some osmanthus. Osmanthus has become my new thing. Um, osmanthus, um, and it has white musk. And a lot of times, things like this, you'll I have a lot of white musk going on. So this is really pretty. It's a, it's a beautiful floral with a little fruitiness to it. And it's not too heavy. Like some of them are brighter, like the other Dahlia Devins tend to be a little stronger, a little more um, bold, where this is very subdued, very romantic, very, you know, these are the type of things that you wear when you just like wearing your beautiful sundress, especially like, like, um, you know, a maxi dress with some nice flow to it and it's a breezy day and you just want to be just girly girl. These are the types. Plus, I mean, look at these bottles. These bottles scream girly girl. You know, these these don't say dude. They say, they don't say, oh man, she, they say girly girl. Now this one don't look like a girly girl, but oh, she girly girl. She girly girling it up for us. This one right here. Y'all been here lately. Y'all knew this was coming. If you all have been here lately, you knew this was coming. Wild Python. Now, this name is so misleading. And I want to thank Coco for actually reading the notes. Girl, that's all right. We're just getting really good started, honey. I got a whole lot more. Even though, I mean, the name is so misleading. The look on the bottle is so misleading because this is just the most beautiful tuberose. Oh my goodness. I mean, it has it has osmanthus in it, you know. It has um right, WMFP. Wow, mother. Yes. Um it has osmanthus, it has orange blossom, it has um and it and it just the name of it says it's called Wild Python, 
but this is nothing like what this is. This is a beautiful, girly, feminine fragrance. And I know people are like, eh, anybody going what they want. This smells like a girl. And so it's so interesting the the you know how it looks the bottle but it's just like nothing like this at all nothing at this like this at all but it's so glorious it's i mean it's just it has a classic vibe to it you know it really does have a classic vibe to it it makes you feel like you know you could wear this forever wild python is one of these fragrances that you could wear forever you this is this is signature scent worthy and i know i'm not being on you know oh you got this is a signature scent i mean because this is just it has this captivating smell scent to it oh wild python okay let me get off of her let me get off of her because y'all know I love her. Y'all know. Y'all know I love her. Y'all know I love her. Oh, okay, let me get off of her. Okay, now this is one of the few times you're going to see me show a travel spray. But I can officially show it here because I've already ordered the full size. I did. I did. I did. This is Aaron's Eye Cat Jasmine. Now, as I've said, folks, yeah, you could definitely wear that all year because it's not too... It, it definitely could hold this oh I, I i could see myself wearing it in the winter time just smelling all gloriously sexy okay so this is i cat jasmine it has honeysuckle jasmine jasmine samba and it has two bros in it hi baby but we have not seen you in forever i swear to you now i put this on my um my instagram page this took me out um First off, we've all been sleeping on the Air and Beauty because the fragrances are lovely and they have a different scent to them. Like this one with the honey with the with the addition of the honeysuckle, it gives us a brightness, a beautiful um uh what is the word I'm looking for? It sparkles because ja jasmine and tuberose can be very tricky to play with they can either a lot of times they come off very heavy very anthologic very animalic but this is just like this glorious summer jasmine tuberose um with that honeysuckle it just takes it to a different place and i and i never would have thought honeysuckle with jasmine and tuberose so this is i cat jasmine it's really beautiful you know it's it, it it lasts long projects well okay okay let me just keep i'm just i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop <laughs> now this one is underrated it's gonna be in my under under height one too but this is gonna be in my under height this is coach the fragrance now this is the 2016 edition you got to figure out which one because it has this on it has the you know the little this one the brown this looks so like blah nothing to it but it is such a pretty rose it's very inexpensive you can find this everywhere it's so inexpensive but it's this beautiful rose um let me get it i did this i do love everything no, I do not. I do not love everything in my collection. We're actually going to have a whole night of stuff I don't like and I'm getting rid of. I just ain't been talking about them. So I got a, I got a list of stuff I don't like and I'm getting rid of. <laughs> I didn't know you didn't think I did, but I do. Yeah, I got like five or six of them. Some of them I actually already got rid of. I know, I know, I know. No, we expect that from me. Okay, so this is the, and this is a rose centered um, fragrance. It has choo -choo -choo -choo, raspberry, leaf, pink pepper. Oh, I am getting rid of some stuff. There, there are, there's some stuff I don't really like. Um, it has suede in it, sandalwood, but it had the rose in it, does it? Oh, let me spray this because I haven't sprayed this. In, I've been wearing this for a minute too because I'm, this is that one that I got for free. Remember when uh also putting it wrong wrong thing in my bag? It is such a pretty rose. It is so gorgeous. And this is such a surprise. And it's like 
Ooh, it is such a surprise. It will make you go, wow, this is Coach. And I know I know Coach has um has some stuff. Yeah, listen, Michelle and she didn't benefited from my stuff I don't like. Okay. Oh, yes, this is so good. Oh my goodness. This is so good. It just it's just like a really pretty rose. It feels like a, a, a floral garden. Um it's got a little it's got a little botanical feel to it but it, then they put a little pepper in it and a little suede to give it a little edge to make it like really cute so this is really but it is a really romantic set it's something that i would definitely wear when i'm in like one of those romantical moods you know i'm in a romantical mood so i'm gonna wear my coach i'm gonna wear my coach now this one is new to this too and this is gonna be surprising but i think this is a romantic of uh, fragrance Oh yeah, there's a yeah, it's a it's a few of them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we know I don't like the the Baccarat Rouge 540. But luckily that's not in my um that's not part of my stuff. Now this is Aura. This is Aura. <sighs> okay, y'all. I know this is the weirdest little um this that is coach this okay let me tell you how to figure this out it's called coach the fragrance what you want to look for is the one with the brown uh tab on it that's the only way i could explain it to you and somebody explained to me that this turns but i didn't notice oh yeah you can turn this um to stop it and i just found this out recently this turns it so it's is locked and then this unlocks it shut your mouth i did not know that yeah, this is Aura, and this is not for everybody, but I still think of it as a very pretty, romantic kind of vibe because it is, look at it, mix it, look at it, that ring. Okay, look at that. I didn't even plan that, y'all. Look at that. Okay, right, like, right, like, oh, Coach Bass. And you can get that stuff for like $20-something, $30, that, the Coach. The, and Aura is not... Um, and so it has this really kind of almost medicinally top note. And then it has this greenness to it. It has um, orange blossom. It has some bourbon vanilla. It has um, wood. It's, it's, I can't even explain it, but on the skin, it becomes beautiful. It, but it's not like something that I would think of as the sexy fragrance. It's definitely got this kind of like romantic flirty vibe to it. I mean, hey, like I told y'all, Bianca smelled it on me. It was like, that smells really good. Because, but in the top note, it's hard. Um, right. Uh, no, this is not one you should blind buy at all. You must smell it in advance because this is, yeah, but I love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful scent. So it's like, mm, but it is so pretty. Once you, once it dries down, it smells glorious on the skin. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. All right. Next up is this one. I do get the mint in it, and I think that's the medicinal kind of vibe to me. Coco is the the mint in it. It's like it has a little mint in it that gives it a tad bit of a medicinal vibe to me, but it doesn't smell um right. Yeah, yeah. Mugler is nothing that you should blind buy, even though I blind buy a lot of shit. This is on the D, this is added to the decant list. If anybody has a decant list, you can see my updates. If you have a link to my decant list, you will see the updates because they come up all the time. Um, yeah, so it has it definitely has that minty. It does it has like a minty freshness to it, but it something about it is when it um, when it dries down, the mint goes away and it leaves a slight sweetness. But it it's just really weird. But it's um, but it is kind of it's it's good to me. I ain't gonna lie. All right, the next one up is Studio MP2 by Mikalev. This one, I'm, I'm still going back and forth on, but it is a beautiful scent. I don't, 
the hell? Why won't it stay on? Hmm. Um. All right, so this is Studio MP2 by Mikalef. This is one of the most inexpensive ones you can find of his. This one has um, peach, melon, and plum. It has lily, lily of the valley, rose, and violet. Um, musk, caramel, caramel, and vanilla. So this one took a while for me to kind of like it. This is a like, not a love, love. But I got to wear it a few more times. I want to wear it when it gets warm outside. Because when I got it... Um, when I got it, it was winter time and I really wasn't feeling those that kind, this kind of fragrance. But it has this um, kind of fruity, floral vibe to it. It's nothing outstanding, like where you're gonna be like, oh my God. But it's a really nice, safe, fruity floral. The plum and the melon and the peach come through. And so it's a very nice, fruity floral to have if you know if you can get it at a good price so yeah this is a like not a love not a love it's a like it's a like not a love all right let's get into some Maison Lancome Magnolia Rosé this is a very simple fragrance it's just basically jasmine magnolia and white musk but it has that beautiful musky smell to it that oh, is so good it's just really really pretty for the summertime um you know i think moogler can hang with the niche houses because moogler does some really interesting things with fragrances you know very cutting edge you know very avant-garde you know and not only that but then is the packaging is always except for womanity because y'all know i can't stand the packaging of womanity i usually like the packaging on mugler stuff but yeah this is just um a really simple musk magnolia though um uh yeah those, those sound like fireworks i can usually tell the difference between shots and fireworks um this hat is a very simple magnolia musk usually because i have another one but this is like really beautiful on the magnolia now if you know because these are pricey and now i honestly i'm going to get the full size bottle of this when lancome has another sale if they know how to ship out things right because i'm still waiting for my shipping i'm still waiting for my shipping anyway let me go back to this this is um here now if you don't want to spend the money for that here's a good alternative this is um Amazing Grace Magnolia. Melissa reminded me of this. I have it. And it's not it's not the same thing. It's more of a powdery musk. Um, um as a girl. it's it's not it's not musky like this. This is more of a powdery uh, magnolia. But if you're looking for a magnolia scent, because magnolia scents are not that you know popular, this is a good one to get you know two so there's that one all right now the next one from is jasmine's marzipan you're gonna see certain houses a lot in here because we know certain houses i love and buy a lot of this is jasmine's marzipan everyone talks about the sweet almondy kind of vibe um but this is not that to me i don't get the sweetness as much as everyone else does what i get is the beautiful glorious jasmine this is one of the clearest most floral like right off of the bush jasmines that i've ever tried um whereas you know i used to have a little when i, I had a jasmine plant before and i love it. now i'm gonna say this doesn't have as much longevity as i would like for the cost but i will buy a new one and respray it because i really do like it really 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 do like it but yeah i mean it's beautiful it's just like this clear clear jasmine you know it's very fresh it's very floral it's very natural this is a natural jasmine so it doesn't um like you know it's no like if you if the alien jasmine you don't like 
you will love jasmine marzipan because this is like the opposite end um, of it. It's the opposite end of jasmine. So there we go. And that's why I think of it as a very um, flirty, romantic jasmine. Right, I don't, right, I don't care about the longevity because it smells so good. It's, um, it's a very deep jasmine, right? Yeah. So some things you just gotta have a backup of. I'm just I'm just here to say you just got to have a backup of it. You just have to. All right. The next one up is this one, Parisian by YSL. Mm mm mm. You know. Oh no! Wait a minute. Did I do the right order? Nope. I did the wrong order. I have this one first. And let's all say her together. Let's all say her together. Roses. Greedy. I'm trying to be good today. I'm trying to be good today. I haven't, the reason why I'm doing this is because I got them on order. Michelle, you y'all be surprising me. I did I put these all on for Grantica in order. So I would just hit it in it in case I wanted to say the notes. <sighs> Y'all, raw, y'all, 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 y'all. Rose is greedy, took us all out. This is mandarin, orange, peach, coconut, uh, black currant. But what you really smell, that's how nice and everything, but what you really smell is this glorious rose. Somebody said they didn't get the rose in this. I was like, what is wrong with your nose? Okay, and then it has the white musk and the amber. A little bit else. So it's got sweetness in it. It's got a little fruitiness to it, but it's really just a walk in the garden. It is a walk in the garden. Everybody wants to try it. Everybody, do y'all see how much I've decanted of this already? Okay, there are different types of roses. So roses greedy, I love for another type of rose. Roses Barbaranza is so different. So they don't they don't compare to each other. Because Roses Barbaranza is that um, you know, it's that pistachio sweet jammy rose where this is like this garden fresh with a little sweetness. This is um so I love them both. Now, now here's the okay, we'll go to the next one. We'll, I'll get to that one in a second. Okay, so this one whew, yeah these are nothing alike i meant to send you this when i was tired that day that's why i only threw one in michelle and i apologize because i should have thrown this one in too um when i smell this it's just like yes 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 now it honestly has a slight oh yeah mancera most of mancera's tops are screw on top just so you know, most Mancera's, the only one that I have that is not a screw on top is Vanilla Exclusive. All the rest of them are screw on tops. So, yeah. All right. So, here we go with Roses Greedy. Roses Greedy. Okay. So, now here comes. Um, yeah. And they all come with a lovely little bag. I'll show you one of their little bags. Where's my Mancera bags? <laughs> I have them around here. They all have a little gold bag. Um, and then Montel had Montal has the satiny bag. So um, Mancera has here's one. Mancera comes with these bags, and then Montal has the satiny kind of bags. But yeah, this is right. Yeah, because I'm so confused with Vanilla Exclusives. Um, little sat, little little magnetic top. I'm like, well, oh, you y'all got fantasy then. All right, so let's go with Parisian right here by YSL. Now, y'all, the one of the reasons why I love it, of course, is because it's so, you know, not everybody wears Parisian, so you can Montal. Mon, I'm sorry, Montal, not Montel. Montal, um, because you don't smell this on everybody. Everybody wears Mont Paris. Um, oh, you do. Um, you, everybody uses mom has mom Perry, and they have you know uh, what's the other one shit what, what did happen to Montal Williams but this has this vinyl smell it has a vinyl smell in it note in it that gives it this kind of like takes that that um, 
So it's the Parisian is like between Paris and Montpellier. It's like that middle spot between those fragrances, which are so iconic by YSL. Um, on this is, you know, you have Paris, which is what every chick wore when I was um, um, in high school. That's why I got Coco. Everybody wore Paris. And then you have Montpellier. Parisian is like right in the middle. It's got that fruitiness, but it's not as strong as Montpellier. It's got the floral, but it's not as strong as Paris. So it's like right between those two is Parisian. And it's one of those things that you could wear this. This is now this is also one of those things you could wear in the office because but it has a, a romantical, flirty, romantical, has this little flirty vibe to it that makes it um kind of interesting. Uh and, and a little more um with, with the fruit and everything. It definitely gives that like, hey, I'm hanging out. Hey, hey, hey. And just like happiness. Parisian is one of those happy fragrances like when you're wearing it it'll make people smile around you it's not like one of those things like like the Mooglers which sometimes I have people going what the hell do you smell like it makes you smell and you're just happy people will be happy around you because you're wearing it right okay all right next up on the Maison Lancome train is Parfait de Roses now this one has liquor, it has a booziness to it, it has a little sugar in it. Now this one is similar, more similar to Roses Barbaranza. Now of the two, yeah, I remember he did have a stroke. I do recall that um, it has, mm, so this one has um, aldehydes in it, has a little liquor in it, it has a little sugar, no, it has a little vanilla, a little benzoin. So it has a slight booziness to it and it's a sweet candied rose. Now, these are the two like Parfait de Roses and Roses Barbaranza. I still love Roses Barbaranza more, but Parfait de Roses is right behind it because this one, um smells kind of similar to it but not quite because like i said roses barbarons is so different in its own right but parfait de roses i think is a little lighter it's a little fresher whereas roses barbarons is he that's around winter in the winter time roses barbarons and parfait de roses um this one is more of the summertime version to me the Parfait de Roses is more summertime than Roses Barbaranza, which means that it, it's a little lighter. It's a little, you know, um, it's a little more, it has, it's a little charming. It's a little more charming. But Roses Barbaranza is in your face. This is a very charming little fragrance to me. So that's Parfait de Roses, very romantical, very much like that. Okay. Next up is this one <laughs> roses must by montal we're just talking about montal so montal paris which is similar man sarah um but i tend right and he has ms yeah that's right that's what i knew i forgot about the stroke i knew he had ms this is Ro roses must by montal this if you want a rose must Magnolia Rose and Roses Musk are very similar but with different floral notes. So this is very, um, this is, a, if you want a musky rose, this is it. And something about the way the rose and the musk play together, it's not too much. Because sometimes I'm not a huge musk person, but this with the, with that, with the roses and the musk, and the way they use it with the white musk, and I tell you this, I I, send, I tend to see that I like white musk a lot more, which is a, a more toned down musk than a lot of you know the heavier ones. So this is jet. It has um, rose, jasmine, and musk. So just like that one has magnolia. The rose is strong, but works with the musk. So the musk kind of tempers it down. So it's not that old school rose it's a it's a very modern rose because the musk 
brings it down to a more modern fragrance. Um, this one is a tester, so this part is on there, but this is like on all the Montals. Like we're talking about the um, Manceras, and they screw on, Michelle. The way these are, they have this little thing, and then it comes off. So this is how it holds it, just so you know. So that's Rose's Musk. Like I said, people have been talking about it. This is it's like it's big in the fra fragrance community now, and it is a really pretty rose musk, and it's strong. Um, at first, I was ha I think I was having some ish sinus issues, so I wasn't smelling it. But then I put it on the other day, and I went outside, and it was like a breezy day. And it was like you know sometimes when you're wearing a fragrance, and it's a breezy day, and the breeze just hits you, and you're like damn I smell good that's what happened because it was just like this glorious breeze came over me it was like a, a, a cool breeze and then this roses musk was on me and then it was beautiful okay next up let me put some of this away this one and this is one of my more inexpensive ones actually very expensive this is by Bordeaux this is Pivion and Rhubarb and this is just a beautiful peony. This is a, with a little rhubarb in it, so it gives it a little sharpness, gives it a little sourness. <sighs> Baby, she is beautiful. She is beautiful. Um, I do like peonies. Peony is one of my other favorite fragrant uh, florals. Um, especially in the springtime and the summertime, peony is such a beautiful floral. So this is peony and rhubarb. It has a little lychee in it. Um, well, no, I'm sorry, grapefruit and magnolia. So and the and the little amber on the base note. So it's not a super complex fragrance. It doesn't last. Um, yes, um, yes, the one, yes. Rose musk would definitely be warm for season because it really blooms in the in the sun and the in the warm weather so this is like an eau de toilette but it was like 20 something dollars and it's just a really pretty beautiful peony so if you like peonies and you want it to have a little sharpness to it like with the grapefruit the grapefruit gives it a sharpness but it's not too citrusy so it's got a little citrus but not too citrusy so that is heavy on and rhubarb Okay, next up is, let's get into my babies over here. Let's get into my babies over here. My ammo washes. Let's talk love tuberose. Love tuberose. This is definitely a tuberose, but it's got a little whipped cream in it, so it's got this sweetness to it, but it doesn't have the bubble gum, and that's what makes it even better. You know, Amouage is one of these one of these houses that is expensive. Don't you don't try to pay full price for them, because even on the uh, it's still it's, it's kind of expensive. But what happens is with Amouage, this is one of those ones that you smell it and you love it. Like I said, Amouage can be super complex. These are complex fragrances. This is a complex fragrance, but it's so glorious that it's just beautiful the first time you smell it. So this has tuberose, gardenia, and jasmine in it. It also has whipped cream and vanilla and then sandalwood and cedar. This smells like, you know, this is money. You know, these are the money smells. This is so beautiful. It's just a really crisp, um, yes, it has whipped cream in it. So it has a sweetness to it, a little whippy creamy in it. Uh, she's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful, children. No, so anyway, yeah, but I'm a wise love tuberose. Um, it is worth the money and lasts on you. It lasts on you and it's just this, scent that hey you're not gonna smell on everybody so you know and this is one of those scents that you i do i like them all um i like sunshine for a different reason though sunshine is a very sunshine is one of those interesting um washes it takes a minute for you to really love that one um speaking of things i forgot to put this on right okay 
So love to the rose. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, now Anna, we know that Honor took me out. Okay, so Honor, Honor, Honor. She's a white floral, you know, um, tuberose jasmine. Got a little spiciness to it. Got a little rhubarb. Got a little spiciness to it. Lily in the Valley carnation. It has frankincense, vetiver, apomonas, amber, and leather. It ha this has a lot going on it, but like I always say, this is just money. And this is just money. And it's just this glorious white floral. This is more tuberose. This is where you really get the tuberose and love tuberose. Honor is a true white floral. They all combine together to make this beautiful, exhilarating, sparkling, classic, breezy, airy, just gorgeous white floral. Honor. So, you know, and it's, and like I said, it's, it, it just says romance. This isn't about being seductive or sensual. These are definitely, um, right, exactly. It's complex, but elegant and simple at the same time. So there's a lot of things going on. And that's the things with these two, where um, some homages are definitely complex. And you got to wear them a few times before you can make a decision about them. Speaking of the big, the big guns, let's just remember, let's just throw her in here because I forgot all about her. This is Delina. Delina is the romantic, not Delina exclusive, but Delina. This is, uh, mm. Now you either love Delina or you don't love it, and that's true because of the rhubarb. It's got such a, a sharp sour note to it and something I like about the sourness and it and let me say this I've gotten compliments on it um it's one of those things that either you like it but when you wear it people will compliment you on it it is very strong it, it has great um sillage it's out there it is out there you are going to smell it it is beautiful and it is very romantic like I feel so pretty when I wear this I ain't gonna even lie I'm like I'm so pretty I know I look good I'm so pretty yes so pretty okay anyway anyway <laughs> we are almost done don't say nothing when I pull this out musky garden by man Sarah <laughs> okay okay all jokes aside hey cousin all jokes aside musky garden is exactly what it says it is now i will say this is the prettiest man sarah bottle i have i love this little i wish they would do some more like this this is so pretty to me i wish they would pretty them up but this has citruses in it um cranberry white peach it has a little iris rose jasmine um, white musk, um, amber, and blackberry. So this is has a lot. It has a lot of. It's fruity, but the and like I said, it's white musk. I tend. I'm I'm starting to notice how uh, the white musk is winning out. And this is such a pretty musky garden. It really is. It has a sweetness to it. It has a. Um, it has a. Uh, the you know the the citrus and the fruits come out but what you really get is the florals and it does feel like you're in this like musky garden it feels like you're in that garden that is over almost an overripe garden you know how like toward the end of the season the the garden gets really overripe and it's just like so much and it's like kind of overwhelming the sense of the garden that's kind of what musky garden is in a good way not to the point of rottenness, you know, but just at that, just at that overripe point, right before it gets too much, it's right there at that point, right before it gets too much. That is what musky garden is. That's what musky garden is. And the last of the men's of the Maison Lancome is Hivion Prontance. This is kind of similar to Bordeaux's, but this has um, a little pepper in it. It has mm, and rose chantilly. So that's what it, uh. 
<laughs> so it has pink pepper, rose chantilly, and peony in it. This is one of those simple fragrances, but it is really pretty. It has a little spiciness to it. It's a floral spicy. I really like floral spices. They they transcend, so they take that like basic floral that could be very old fashioned and they elevate it you know it's like when you add a little spice to a floral you elevate it and give it a more modern edge so this has a little more modern edge to it but it's still a classic floral it still gives you that very green you know feeling to it it still gives you that kind of you know botanical vibe to it but it just it has that little edge with the spiciness so that's Pivion Pronton now this one right here right here right here um i don't think coco likes this one if i'm not mistaken <laughs> i don't think you like this one but i like it okay so this is <laughs> killian's woman in gold i'm here to tell y'all i like this this has bergamot mandarin orange and aldehydes in it it has rose vanilla, absolute freesian geranium, and it has patchouli, tonka bean, and vanilla. So this is a truly, this is one of those classic fragrances, but I like it. I really do. It has a sweetness to it. it it's, it's definitely got this cultured vibe to it. This is definitely for the cultured lady. This is something about it when it hits my skin it just smells so lovely but it has the aldehydes and let me tell you probably why i really like it and i like it because of the aldehydes because one of the first things i ever wore big girl since was i used to sneak my sister chanel number no. five and chanel number no. five is the the original is was very high in aldehydes so it kind of reminds me of Chanel number no. five, but it has the sweetness with the tonka and the vanilla. It has a really classic vibe to it. It's very, very cultured. This is a, this isn't an everyday scent. Well, it would be for me. Like this is, <laughs> I will wear this every day, honestly, because it's not offensive. It's very, you know it is powdery it is very it, it is powdery i will admit that um but it has a sweetness and the sweetness and the florals kind of work together oh i really like this one y'all and i think it's probably and i will say this is one of the most old school fragrances i have so this would not be for everybody because it does have a very old school vibe to it but I like this one. I like it for some reason. Oh, I just want to, let me just put her on my skin. Oh, I don't know. It's something about it. Um, right? And yeah, and the travel suede bottles are, I'm sorry. I like the travel suede bottles better than the actual bottles. The travel sprays are freaking beautiful. Um, cases are beautiful. But it's just, it's something about it that, it just does it for me and that's all i got it just does it for me i really love it it's just really good that's all that's all i can say about it i know i know it's like what but it is it is it is it is what it is um and then here's this one for my last um hmm. where'd that come from hmm. Okay, here's the one. Yes, Killian does. Let me tell you, I was about to buy Killian lipsticks a long time ago. The bougie lipsticks is love. I've been wanting those for a while. Somebody talked me out of buying the bougie lipsticks because I, I that's remember I started my bougie lipstick thing. Somebody talked me out of it. I said I need to get right. They do. Oh, I already knew about that. I was already aware because I, that's where I started with Killian was I saw the lipsticks first. I didn't even know about the fragrances. I saw the lipsticks. I was like, oh, these are kind of cute, y'all. Now, this is Signorina Eleganza. She's very, uh, she's very gorgeous, 
this is one of those things that it's like, what? This has a leather, does this have a leather or suede accord to it? Um, this has a little almond powder, some osmanthus in it. It has um, patchouli and white leather. That's what it has. No, no, it's been on my mind, Lala. No, no, it's, it's never left. It's still there because I was going to buy because they had these beautiful reds. And I was like, ooh, child, shut up. Okay, but anyway, it has osmanthus. It has a little um, white leather, grapefruit, and pear. So this is a very um vivacious sense it's got a little you know it's a little she's a little sparkly a little vivacious that little leather with the little patchouli no we're not gonna see them soon i'm still no i'm i'm still on the brush thing so the brushes are winning out over the lipstick right now <sighs> mm. well i haven't seen the carolina herrera once well, let's look i'm gonna tell you who has some really beautiful ones is uh Givenchy. I love Givenchy cases. I've been meaning to buy a few of them. And Guerlain has always has a beautiful Christmas one. Guerlain makes really pretty ones for the for the Christmas time. And um, what's the name? Uh, Givenchy makes beautiful, beautiful cases. Mm, so anyway, ah, uh, yes, this is like sparkling with the grapefruit and the pear. And then it's got that osmanthus, so it's got that apricot vibe. Oh, so this is just this is just like one of those things you're gonna you're just gonna put on and you can be like, damn, you smell good. What you wearing? You know, I still love my Charlotte Tilbury ones. I still gotta finish buying those. I still need to finish buying those. I'm still getting those, honey. The lower time ones, I'm not so I'm not so deep into. The lower time. I, okay, I think Global Time just went too far on the pricing. I can do Killian. I can do Time Ford on a, you know, maybe. But Killian, Global Time is ridiculously old. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But yes, honey. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, mm -mm. I'm not messing with that. So yeah, this is Signorina Eleganza. Signorina Eleganza. So. If you want to get real bougie, go look at House of Siash. Now you talking about bougie? You want um, Killings of our Fifty Five? Ain't nobody got nothing on House of House of Siash. House of Siash cases are insane. That's all I'm gonna say. And why did I just find out House of Siash is on Afterpay? Not messing with it now. I'm on a mission to pay off all my Afterpays. But if I'm doing a one, you know, one and done after pay, I might hit one of them mystery balls. I'm just saying because I'm just, I, I'm just, I'm, I pay them all down. They, say, they got a mystery vault out. I'm gonna have to go on and use. I'm gonna have to go on and take it one time and take one for the team and give me a mystery ball. Yes, I just found out, Coco. I was like, why are you playing with my emotions? Why? Okay, so anyway, House of Siage. Theirs are ridiculous. Um, if, but if I can do a mystery thing and then get something, then I'm cool. Yes, ma'am. I just saw it. I was like, y'all playing with my emotions right now. Yes, they are. So anyway, that was the romantical vibe. These are the romantic. These are my top these are the romantic ones now let me show y'all how i do things because i want y'all to understand oh they're expensive they are expensive house of siage ones they about 100 200 dollars in them cases yeah so let me just show y'all what i do in the mornings instead of going live like i used to you know my crack of dawn lives i have been busy i have been busy i'm just gonna show y'all a few things i'm working on to see how i know where i'm at I got boozy fragrances. I got some boozy fragrances we're working on. I have all my listings of Oud's spicy ones. See where we going? I got orange blossom. I got Tonka. Just list and list. Just going through stuff. With the House of Siage, you saw for 35 you must have saw just the House of Siage lipstick, not the case. Because the case is what you're paying for. Tuberoses and coconuts. So um, 
I'm waiting for a few things. So we will have days like that. Um, yeah, the list is a 35. It's the cases that will kick your ass. Um, Blind Buys Volume 4. I've got uh, overhyped, worth the hype, underhyped. I got some stuff coming, y'all. I'm, 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 I'm trying to do my thing. I'm trying to do my thing. I'm trying to do my thing since I got all this damn pun. Um, yeah, yeah, the lipstick is fine, Lala. It's when you get into buying the House of Siage case that will kick your behind. Because the cases are ridiculous. And them cases are ridiculous. All right, y'all. Uh, uh, right, I'm trying to be a little, you know, better. I'm about to be a better. I'm getting my stuff together. So y'all gonna sit here with me for a second while I put away these fragrances because I tend to have them sitting all out. So I'm putting them all away. They're all going putting back where they're supposed to be. Let's put them all away, Louise. You know, I have two carousels going on now. Uh, I'm watching gonna be sitting at the top of this one because I got another baby coming in. Oh. Got a little musky garden. Got that little musky garden. Okay, we put I got them all the way. Okay, the braids are chilling, but the braids are coming out. The braids are coming out because if you can see, I'm very you know, I got a lot of uh, fuzziness going on, but they lasted. They lasted. But now I'm planning my next look that's going to last. I'm proud of myself. This is good. This, hey, 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 I kept them in for over a week now. Uh, I'm probably going to take them out Tuesday. And then put maybe some flat twist in and, you know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I'm proud of myself because I love them in. Okay, two weeks is asking a lot of me, la la. I said I was gonna. I said two weeks. I did. Now, um, hi, Kristen. Um, I'm not gonna. They look good on camera. Trust me, they don't look as good in person. Trust and believe this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I am a. Uh, they are very moisturized. They still feel nice and soft. They don't feel, and I haven't added anything to them, but they do feel, I think, like I said, um, I think that um, the, that, that moist, that leave-in conditioner is good for stuff like this. I don't like it for doing, you know, like if I'm just going to braid it up and, and, you know, fluff it out. It's not good for that because you're going to have to leave it in forever. But something like this, this is really good for because it has that stickiness, holds the braids. It did hold the stuff together. It was, it made it kind of easy to braid. Um, so I do like it for that. Now for um, anything other than that, no. So now I have found a use for it. Um, it won't just sit there because I, I, I like the way my hair feels with it on. Uh, it probably needs to, you know, I probably need to, you know, at this point, spray my hair with some water and then put some kind of oil on it, you know, a butter or something to lay it down and like put a scarf on. But it, it lasts, and it's very, it still feels good. I need to oil my scalp though. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. Yeah, I might let, I might leave it out for like a day and then do them. Uh, just to see how, you know, it looks. Now, the other thing is, the one thing I do have to do is I have to, like, go through these every day and make sure they're not knotting because, um, and break them down again because my hair will knot up really quickly and start trying to lock. So I have to be careful because I, you know, they were starting to try to knot up on me. So I got to, like, you know, take a little comb and, like, comb out the, 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 the ends to make sure that they have not knotted because like this one down here is trying to knot up so yeah i have to be like kind of conscious of that like this one right here might be trying to knot up so like the ends will try to knot up real quick so i got to be careful about that all right y'all it was good seeing y'all today thank you all for hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed it um 
I should do that. Just put a little butter on the ends. You're right, because I don't do a lot of butter because it's too heavy on my hair, but that would be good for the ends of the twist. Um, thank y'all so much. Um, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. It was fun. Um, I hope y'all saw some new romantical fragrances. And good night.